Good afternoon and welcome to the Israel Brief, proudly brought to you by Lay of the Land, your daily news, update, hot topics and debates from Israel. Now, today's very action-packed first edition takes a look at whether or not Israel struck Iranian targets in Syria over the weekend. We hear from former IDF chief of staff, now party head for Hossein Le Israel or Israeli Resi Resilience, Benny Gantz, on what he intends to do about the controversial nation-state law if elected. And we hear from our outgoing IDF chief of staff, Gadi Eisenkot, on whether or not the IDF has been successful with Operation Northern Shield in locating and destroying tunnels coming in from Lebanon into Israeli territory. So let's kick it off with Prime Minister Netanyahu, who has confirmed that Israel did bomb Hezbollah and Iranian weapon facility depot in Syria over the weekend. This was reportedly at the Damascus International Airport. Now, a website called IntelliNew or IntelliTimes has published satellite pictures of the reported strike, and you can clearly see what uh, Damascus International Airport, or in particular that uh, munitions facility warehouse, looked like on Friday night, and what it looked like the day after after it had reportedly been struck. Now, Netanyahu has confirmed that the IDF did indeed strike the facility. And this is very rare because uh, Israel doesn't confirm or deny whether or not they have uh, struck targets very, very often. So very, very interesting to hear from Prime Minister Netanyahu that we uh, did carry out this strike and it has been confirmed by a military source in Syria who says that a Ministry of Transport um, warehouse was struck over the weekend and uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu reiterating that Israel will do everything in its power to assure the safety of its territory and of its citizens. Now let's have a look at what the former IDF chief, Benny Gantz, has to say about the nation-state law. This is very, very controversial. Uh, the nation-state law, um, th which, was, which was legislated into Israeli law last year, uh, created a lot of controversy in that uh, two points. It downgraded the Arabic language and also... Um, points within the laws seemed to give the impression that the very, very, very significant Druze community were now uh, almost second-class citizens, or this is how they viewed the, the law looking at them. Uh, there is a lot of discussion on whether or not this is actually the case, but the general feeling amongst the Druze community is that they're not seen as equal as they should be. And uh, Benny Gantz, who recently started a political party called Hossein Le Yisrael, or Israeli Resilience, that will be running in the very, very next uh, elections on the 9th of April, uh, made his first major statement about uh, where he stands politically. And he's come under a, a lot of attack, some from the left, some from the right. Um, you know, some calling him a, a lefty, saying that he's too liberal. Uh, look, this is to be expected as we head to elections. But he has said that he will examine the nation state law very, very closely. And in those particular areas where it does look like there are elements of Israeli society who may feel that they're not as equal as others, uh, he will do his best to amend accordingly. So uh, my opinion is that it's going to be a very, very interesting election race. This is the first time we've heard where Benny Gantz stands politically uh, on the, the spectrum, and we can look forward to hearing more from him as the electioneering continues. And our final story for today is uh, from the outgoing Chief of Staff, Gadi Eisenkot, who in an interview earlier this morning, uh, said that he's very, very happy to report that since Israel launched Operation Northern Shield in uh, December, 
that we have managed to locate nearly all, if not all, of the tunnels infiltrating from Lebanon into Israel and have destroyed them. And he says that he's very, very happy that uh, we've managed to do this without further confrontation with Hezbollah. So that is today's edition. You can click on the subscribe button below and subscribe to receive your daily news, views and updates from the Daily Brief. I am Rodi Marks. It has been my pleasure and we will chat tomorrow the same time, same place.